This is a density altitude question. It's question number 5.2.10. Determine the density altitude for these conditions. Well, density altitude, by definition, is pressure altitude corrected for non-standard temperature. In other words, at standard temperature, pressure altitude and density altitude will be the same. Well, what's pressure altitude? Pressure altitude is altitude corrected for non-standard pressure. We first start with our altitude, in this case our field elevation or airport elevation, and once we correct that for non-standard pressure from our altimeter setting, that'll give us a pressure altitude. Then to get our density altitude, we correct for non-standard temperature. So we have all the information we need here for the answer. And we have to use a chart to get this information. So here's our density altitude chart. On the right-hand portion of the chart, we have a correction factor for pressure altitude. And you can see that pressure altitude is the same as your altitude at standard pressure. But the higher the outside pressure is, it's equivalent to a lower altitude. The lower outside pressure is, is equivalent to a higher altitude. Our question indicates the altimeter setting is 3035, so we would find that on our chart and see that our correction is somewhere between 348 and 440 feet. Now we could figure out that difference. Another way you can calculate your pressure altitude is by taking your altimeter setting, 30.35, subtract standard pressure, and because one inch of pressure is equivalent to 1,000 feet difference, you can multiply this difference by 1,000 and find out that you need to subtract 430 feet from your field elevation. And one inch is not exactly 1,000 feet, but it's close enough for figuring purposes and to answer any of these questions correctly. So because the pressure is higher, we'll need to subtract that number from our field elevation, and our field elevation is 3894, so we'll subtract that from 3894. And for figuring's sake, let's just call that 3500 feet. So the next thing we do is we look at our pressure altitude. We find the diagonal line for about 3500 feet here which we have to just imagine in our mind or hold up a piece of paper to the chart, and then cross that with our outside temperature below. And here we'll find 25 degrees, because our question indicates 25 degrees is our temperature. So 25 degrees, which is colder than standard temperature. You can see this red line represents the standard temperature, and we are colder than standard. So 25 degrees across from 3,500 feet, we'll find that spot. And that looks like it is just barely shy of 2,000 feet. I'd call it 1,900 feet. So let's look at our question choices. And A looks like the correct answer because that's very close to the 1,900 feet. And that's the correct answer. One other way you could solve this question is by using a flight computer. Your flight computer has a density altitude conversion scale in this quadrant. And what you do is you set your pressure altitude in thousands of feet here. And we've calculated our pressure altitude to be 3,500 feet. So here's 3,000, 4,000, so 3,500 feet. And we put that across from our outside temperature. Well, you can see this is a scale in Celsius. So down below we have the conversion between Fahrenheit and Celsius. So 25 degrees Fahrenheit is about minus 4 degrees Celsius. So in this tiny scale here we see that negative Celsius is to the right, positive Celsius is to the left. So we're going to put 4 degrees across from our, our 30, minus 4 degrees Celsius, across from our 3,500 feet, and it's hard to do 
but then up here we'll read our density altitude, which appears to be about 2,000 feet. So you see this is a, a more crude way to arrive at the answer, but it still does get us the correct answer.